I'm Tony Borgo with the Lighting Public Library, and today's Flashback Friday brings us to 1238 119th Street. The building was built in 1924, and at that time it was listed as 644 119th Street. I'm not 100% sure what was at this location when it was built, but I believe its original occupants was a LePay dry goods store. According to Mary LePay's obituary, she and her husband Andrew were in the dry goods business since 1921. Their first building was right next door. The 1929 city directory shows the LePay store located at 644 119th Street. So there's a good chance that Arnold and Mary were the first store's tenants. In 1945, William Kurash went in, into partnership with Mary LePay. Mary passed away in 1951 and eventually the name of the store was changed to Kurash's. Bill Kurash expanded the business in the 1950s. He began, began selling women's and children's clothing at that time. In 1970, Bill Kurash sold the business to John Gazda, who previously was a proprietor of an upholstery shop, a delicatessen, and he was even the manager of St. John's Parochial Center for 12 years. Gazda remained in business until 1973. From 1974 through the majority of the 1980s, Victoria Miller ran the Patchwork. The Patchwork was a gift shop that specialized in silk flowers. Their slogan was, Silk Flowers Are Forever at the Patchwork. In 1987, Jim Sandrick relocated his insurance agency to 1238 119th Street. He was only at this location for one year, though. The following year, Bruce and Jean Shamala opened up Good Vibrations. Growing up, this was a place in town where you could buy cassette tapes from all the popular bands and musicians. The music store shared a space with Whiting Accounting. Mary and Peter Fetzes, along with Phyllis Gibbons, uh, provided residents of Whiting with all of their accounting needs, including tax preparation. I can't recall when for sure, but eventually during the 1990s, H&R Block moved into this building. The nationally known tax preparers were here well into the 2000s. For a while though, the building did remain vacant. That was until Jessica Schmidt, along with her husband Justin, Justin opened up Region Escape Room in 2019. If you have never been to an escape room, it's a real life adventure game where players are put in a room to find clues, solve puzzles, and unlock locks in order to escape. I am now an escape room fanatic and it is thanks to Region Escape Room um, who introduced me to this extremely fun experience. I will be doing another Flashback Friday on Friday, March the 26th at 12 p.m. If you enjoy these Flashback Fridays and would like to show your appreciation, you should consider joining the Friends of the Whiting Public Library you can join at the Friends of the Whiting, Lib Whiting Public Library's Facebook page. It is $5 for individuals, $10 for families, $25 for businesses, or you can even offer more if you so choose. And I do have some photographs of the different uh, things in the building. Um, the first photograph here is when it was LePay's dry, uh, dry goods store, and this was on um, a desk that was found in the building's basement. Here's an ad uh, for A. LePay Dry Goods, and that's in the 1930s. Here's an interior view of what the dry goods stores look like, and this was from a 1939 advertisement. And here's a painting that was commissioned um, by William Kurash a uh, family member to show uh, the building as it was when it was the women and children's clothing business. Okay, this is a picture of Kurash and uh, I believe uh, John Gazda when they were planning on um, ch uh, selling the business. And here's an inside uh, view from a wedding yearbook of Gazda's when it was the, uh, his clothing store. And this is an advertisement of the patchwork when it was the silk flower business. Um, Jessica Smith, when she built, uh, 
opened up the region escape room, she found this uh, inside the store and it shows all of the different tenants that were in the building um, going back to when it was Karash's. So that was a neat little tool I used in order to put together this history. And there you have it. Thank you again for stopping by the Lion Public Library's Facebook page. I hope you enjoyed today's um, stroll down memory lane and see you again on March the 26th.